Hello from Tokyo. Today I'm going to use my favorite colors for this technique, which are light gold from Amsterdam, primary magenta from Amsterdam, and this is Arteza Brands Glowing Peach. The base will be titanium white. I have more mixed up than that. And I'll be using quite a bit of the glowing peach today. Instead of a regular balloon, I'm going to be using only the water balloon for the balloon smashes. And the paints are very thin as always, as you can see from the gold here. The pouring medium I use for these balloon smashes is a clear PVA glue, which is like water in consistency. 70% of that, 30% water. That's for my base. And for the colors, I add a little bit of US Floatrol just to thicken it up a tiny bit. So once we've popped all the air bubbles with a torch, it's time to lay down the colors. I'm going to blow this part out first with my breath and do a couple of balloon smashes just to see how it looks like. And then what I'll do for the whole of this painting is do this line by line. So lay down some paints for a line and blow it out and then do the balloon smashes, then the next line, then the next line. And I think it'll be four lines. So I'm saying lines because I wanted to make it look like a weeping sakura tree, like a, a weeping, um, you also get them with plum blossoms too, you know, like a willow tree. So. Anyway, I'm going to be quiet for the rest of the video, so I hope, well, until it comes back to the wet finish, so I hope you enjoy watching the video today. Something a little bit different to my usual Sakura balloon smashes. Speak to you in a little bit.
here we are looking at the wet version of the finished painting what do you think i actually really love it i think it looks great um because it's really different the effect from uh, the smaller balloon to the larger balloon can you tell it's really even more refined i like it as it is on its own without the larger balloon smashes i think it works better like this oh there's so many possibilities here it's really cool i'm very excited about it and trying it in different colors but let's have a look at the dried finish that glowing peach is shining oh it's not completely dry there by the way but i wanted to show you because i was so excited about it um but yes it's dried really well It's easier to create space between the blossoms if you use a smaller balloon, right? So it's very effective. It's a little concerned about that part on the right there, um, which has a lot more glowing peach. I was going to actually scrape it off, but I'm glad I didn't. It worked out okay once dried. As I always say, sometimes it's just worth leaving and see how it dries unless you're really unhappy about it. And here it is by the window with a bit more natural light. So you can see the iridescence from that angle there. Balloon smashes are such a simple technique for you to try if you haven't already. The only difference would be obviously the composition and uh, you have to experiment a little bit with the consistency of your paints and pouring medium and for me i like to make it very very thin consistency to achieve these so i hope you give it a go i hope you enjoyed the video today thank you so much for watching as always and see you in the next one bye